Hello everybody. Um, before I start this unboxing video, I'd like to show you an interesting hack uh, that I came upon by accident. Now, this is my cell phone, which I use for filming. And it is hooked up on top of a floor lamp which I got from Amazon. This is a uh, an LED lamp. You see the stand right there. It was not expensive. It was like around $40. And I needed a floor lamp anyway. And it happens to have a flat top. And I just found out that since the lens of the camera is way on the front part, it is not in the way. Let me show you. Well, here's the cell phone hooked up on top of the lamp and I think it does a decent job of doing an overhead shot and one thing I have to mention um, a lot of the recommended overhead setups that I see on YouTube the setup is on the same desk as the um, uh, where the artwork is being done now that isn't going to work for me because when I do printing or drawing you can't avoid shaking the desk because your hand will be vibrating as you're moving so having a setup on the same table is not a good idea. You'll have unnecessary shake. So by hooking this up with rubber bands on this floor lamp, which is, as you can see, it's really not connected to the table. I get a vibration free shot and uh, it's not expensive and what I like about this is all the controls are within reach I can easily stop and press the record button uh, within reach uh, as opposed to some uh, setups that are hooked up so high that you can't reach the buttons or you can't see what you're doing so I just thought I'd show you this simple hack uh, for overhead shots especially for artwork where you do a lot of action on the uh, work table so I will be right back to go ahead with my an unboxing of my uh, Jerry's Artorama order of acrylic paint. Okay, I'm back. Now, um, this shot is with my regular um, cell phone. Uh, which is hooked up on top of the uh, LED lamp, floor lamp. So I'm going to start. Okay. And 
and I'm happy to have some more bubble wrap. Okay, so this is Lucas and um, this is the larger version. This is 250 milliliters and it's in a convenient squeeze bottle. Uh, this is Indian yellow. That's the first one. The second color is cadmium red light. It looks like a bottle of ketchup. Actually, it, it has a nice little cap. So once I cut this open, I can put the cap on. Um, one of the problems with acrylic paint is they tend to skin over when they dry and uh, clogging is a bit of a problem. So with this kind of cap, it's very easy to unclog the nozzles. This is chrome green light. Here's a pretty color. I like this a lot. This is called Arctic. It's kind of a pale turquoise. This is a creamy, uh, it's called beige. It's more like an ivory. Um, that goes to show that you cannot go by words when you deal with colors. I always tell uh, the clients that I deal with nothing beats a color sample. You cannot use words to describe colors. This is indigo. Very beautiful dark blue. And here's another blue. This is one of my favorite blues. This is thalo blue. This is green earth. Here is some titanium white. Hopefully this won't be as thick as the one in the smaller container. Uh, I found it too uh, sticky and I had to dilute it with water. So uh, I'll find out. This is burnt sienna. And this one is one of my favorite colors, cadmium orange. And this um, gives a lot of vibrance to the prints that I do because it, ha it has a nice contrast to the cool colors. And the last two here is cerulean blue. And uh, it's also one of my favorite colors aside from phthalo blue. Well, that's it for my order. And uh, let me line this up. Okay. 
and uh, they were very careful to shrink wrap each tube just in case of leaks so they're very careful about packing which I like So these should last me a while because um, if you notice, if I uh, use my brayer on the jelly plate, you don't really need a lot of paint. You just need about, oh, I'd say a teaspoon to a tablespoon to spread over uh, an area about this size so there's my um, unboxing video of Lucas Lucas Krill Studio uh, from Jerry's Artorama and uh, if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.